A well-functioning civil registration and vital statistics system, better known as CRVS, uses inputs into and exits from a population register to provide governments with critical information on the population by age, sex, and location on which to develop policies and plan services. Good public health decision-making requires timely, reliable, and actionable data on births and deaths, including cause of death, collected through these systems. A well-functioning CRVS system is the best source of data for measuring 67 of the 231 SDG indicators, including the health-related SDG3. The main challenge that remains is that few low- and middle-income countries have systems that produce cause-of-death statistics of sufficient quality to guide public health decision-making. Only about one-third of countries, representing about 25% of the world's population, regularly produce cause-of-death data through CRVS systems which are of sufficient quality to support policy action, mostly in Europe and the Americas. A further third of countries, representing about 50 to 55 percent of the world's population, produce lower quality cause of death data with significant biases, while another third of countries lack such data altogether. Overall, only about two-thirds of the 55 million annual deaths worldwide are registered or notified to CRVS systems, and of these, up to half are either not assigned a cause of death or are assigned an ill-defined or intermediate cause, which is of limited public health value. According to the 2020 SCORE Global Report, from 133 countries, 44% of either a nascent or limited capacity to count births, deaths, and causes of deaths. SCORE also found that although most countries in Europe and the Americas have universal death registration, this number falls to 61% in Southeast Asia and only 10% in Africa. This highlights the urgent need to invest in all aspects of CRVS system strengthening. In a public health emergency such as COVID-19, basic CRVS processes including birth and death notification, registration, and mortality coding are vital to inform and support both national and global responses as well as up-to-date monitoring of the spread of fatalities. In its commitment to address data gaps and support the strengthening of national CRVS systems, WHO has together with partners developed the WHO CRVS Strategic Implementation Plan 2021-2025. to The strategic plan is heavily evidence-based and draws on the findings and evaluation of the application of several years of CRVS interventions and research in countries. The aim of the WHO CRVS Strategic Implementation Plan is to empower member states to more effectively mobilize their health sector to lead or contribute to CRVS system strengthening efforts in order to ensure maximum benefit from routine data systems for policy and development. The health sector has an important role to play in strengthening CRVS systems. Linking the health sector to civil registration will facilitate timely birth and death notification and more accurate information on causes of death. CRVS partners are encouraged to join forces towards the operationalization of the WHO CRVS Strategic Implementation Plan so that together everyone is counted because everyone counts. <laughs>